Hey y'all, how you doing today? So, um, I need to fix a page in here. Um, this is my big book of ideas and I started it and forgot to hit record. So I will explain to you what I did up until this point. So this was my center page and this did, did not come out how I wanted it to. And I'm sorry if that's glaring on the screen there, but these are the only magnets I had at the time and they made it too bulky. And <clears throat> that was my center page. So what I did was I took out this entire signature, I rebound it in, and then I took a piece of <clears throat> scrapbook paper. This is 12 long and about seven or seven and a half seven and a half ish long. And so I want to make one of these. I do not have the die cut for it. And then I want to make a few pockets. So since I don't have that die cut, got to make sure that it's going to fit in there and it will. So let's put that aside for a second. I, um, make these, oh, I need that, what am I doing? I always make these by hand. And um, actually, let's use this as a guide because I only had three pockets on that side. So I'm just gonna put a line here and there and there, and then come over and do the same thing over here. This does seem to be a little bit taller, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now having done that, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I need to go this way. Okay, so I am going to... So these are just rough estimates, right? They're not necessarily on a, on a line here. But I am going to put it on that three-quarter line, and I'm just going to draw a line all the way across. And since this one is close to the quarter line, I'm gonna draw that line there. And then this one is kind of in between, so I'm gonna draw it right there. And this is gonna be my top. And so I am going to, so I don't need this ruler to be the entire length. Um, because I just need to make sure, and maybe it's easier to look at it from this direction. I just need to make sure that these lines here all intersect. And I have that at a quarter of an inch in. And, uh, this actually looks crooked, but I really don't care about that. <laughs> So that's that's kind of uneven there. So we'll just go in a little bit more on this side. Like, because that doesn't look straight to me. Right there, maybe. That looks better. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I am going to use my... Uh, box cutter here. Now I have a craft knife somewhere. Um, I can't find it though, so I keep stealing my husband's stuff. So I'm going to cut, a, cut from this line to this line in between. And I'm just going to go all the way up. and make sure that they're as straight as I can get them. Um, although since this is a, a book of ideas, it doesn't have to necessarily be perfect, okay? And because I make this by hand, what I found um, works best is when you get that first line drawn, turn it around, unless you're ambidextrous and can cut it that other side um, cut it, turn it around so you can see where that line is because we're just going to cut to make it a sliver. And where's that right there? Okay. 
And then we're gonna take our crap -a dial And if you don't have a crap -a dial um, you can always use a regular hole punch. I actually have a little hole punch that looks like this. Um, I don't, let's see. You know, it's just a regular. Oh, and that doesn't work. There you go. Just a regular. That's a little bit bigger than what I'm looking for, though. So I want to use the 1 8 side and see how that looks. And I'm going to try, that's not all the way down. Okay, so I just need to extend that line a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, that, that looks good. And I need to extend this one a little bit. And actually, I'm going to have to use the bigger um, hole on that. Okay, so we're going to use the 3 16 side. And we're just going to cut our holes where those cuts and our pencil lines intersect. And they might not be exactly in the same row, if you will, uh, you know, straight. But once you put stuff in the pockets, it's really not going to matter. You know, so that's as perfect as it's going to get. Um, because I need to keep my videos short, I'm not going to um, ink that. I like to ink, you don't have to ink, um, but we're just going to put it in there and then we're not going to glue this top here because I want to make that a deep pocket. I couldn't do that on the other side because the way I glued it. So I'm going to just put glue along the bottom and along both sides. And it doesn't matter how close you get to the sides there because of where the holes are. You just have to be careful um, because it does make it a little flippity floppity. And if you want to, you can put glue on the top portion above that line. So the, the things that you put in, uh, my words are not working today. The things that you end up putting in your pockets uh, will stop. So if I would have put glue at the top of, or at the bottom of this here, then the card can only go in that far. And if I put it here, then the card can only go in that far. But this way, um, I don't know if I have anything that long. I do, okay, so this here, can go all the way down, if I can get it in there, all right? It's a little tight though uh, for, for that. So I'll have to make something smaller to fit because I don't wanna get glue on everything. Okay, and um, I do have a drawer of, of stuff. I am a collector of, um, digital kits. <laughs> this here is scrapbook paper and I think the majority of if not all of these will be um, digitals from Dear Julie Julie. Um, yeah, that might that might make it. Okay, so this is about three and a half wide, so I'm just gonna guess the middle. Can you see what I'm doing here? This is my envelope punch board, and I'm just gonna guess the middle. That looks about right to me. And guess the middle. That, that looks about right, and those will fit there. And let's see. 
these will fit over here. So again, I'm just going to guess the middle on that. Um, if you like to be or are a perfectionist, you can measure this and then divide it in half and then find where it lies on that uh, spot there. But I'm trying not to be a perfectionist today because these are junk journals. So that's really not necessary. So, but this, this book is getting kind of full already and I didn't think about it when I put it together um, originally. A normal junk journal for me um, is, depending on how wide the spine is, either three or four signatures. Um, but I like to put at least 10 pages. Actually, this one I'm going to ink because it's so light you can barely see it. Um, I like to put at least 10 pages in each signature. And now that I'm, this is the book of ideas and everything is going in here, it's getting quite bulky. And I found some paper when I was looking for something the other day that I have no idea where it came from. And I want to say that it's like 11 by 17 in size. I have no idea where I would have gotten that because that's not some, my printer will not um, accept paper that big. So I can only imagine one of my uh, friends said, here you go, I don't need this, do you want it? And of course my answer is always, oh, free craft supplies, of course I want it. So I forgot I had it though. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on the bottom since it's darker. And uh, let's see, I made two lines there, but I wanna make sure that that line is the one that I'm working with just to make sure that this is gonna fit. And I am using Fabrifix glue. I switch back and forth between Art Glitter glue and Fabric, uh, Fabri-Tac or three-in-one. Um, what else do they call it? Fabrifix. And because of all the journals that I'm making right now, I just bought a case of Fabrifix and um, 12 come in a case and I think I only have <clears throat> five bottles left <laughs> which um, I have a lot of journals to make so I'm gonna have to get another order out soon before um, they won't mail it anymore right so I don't know if this is what's gonna stay in here but I'm just gonna fill up these pockets real quick because we're at 13 minutes. All right. mm -hmm. Let's put that one right there because that can go down a little bit further because we did not glue any of those. And normally I ink before I get on screen, but um, that didn't happen this time. What else do we have? Okay, we can put this here, and then we got one to put here, and we got some little things over here, maybe. What else we got over here? I don't even know. I think these are Dear Julie Julie Digitals. Um, I collect digitals, so they could be from anywhere. Okay, let's put that one there and that one there sideways. And there we go. So I was gonna make this into a booklet, but actually what I could do is make it into a booklet and then hang it over like that. But I don't have time to do that right now, so that'll be at a later date. But there you go. So it's going to close like this. And if I ever do find those magnets, I could potentially cut this string off 
and then just put magnets there or even Velcro. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But in the meantime, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, hope you grabbed some stuff and crafted along with me. I am gonna make another one of these and um, I am going to use, uh, this is going to be my book actually. I don't remember what I ordered, but I've been saving this piece of, of packaging for quite some time. So this is gonna be a pretty big book because this is the paper. I folded it in half just to make sure that it would fit in here. So I don't even know if all that is fitting in there, but it is 11 by, by 17 and it fits perfectly. So this is gonna be my next book of, my next big book of ideas and uh, stay tuned for that. This is gonna be the fabric I bought this a long time ago to make a quilt out of and it didn't work out. That's when I was trying to teach myself how to sew. So I love this fabric and stay tuned for this. I hope you all have a crafty day and I will see you soon.